Yeah. Woo. All right, all right. So, check it out. <laughs> it's your boy, Tony Picasso, with ALBR Work. And I am going to show you guys how to change this room right here, this dark room, into a lighter color, all right? Uh, one of the things you want to do with going from dark to light is get you some kills, all right? Kills, what it does is it put an extra coat, almost primer-like substance over the material. So when you um, go to apply the color of coat that you want, you don't have to do so many. So over here, I kind of got like this little crazy wall where we did some little designs on. I mean, let me show you all that. Check that right there. We'll zoom in a little bit. Boop, boop. So this actual wall right here was where we decided if we needed to do some extra coats for the darker wall. So as you can see, we put a base coat under there and then we tried one, two, three, four, five, six different colors. Actually, there's a seven one on the end here. And we just kind of play with those and see how many coats we would need. Uh, with a test like this, it lets you know if you need to go with the extra primer or extra kills with that, or um, if you want to go ahead and just use uh, paint directly. Uh, for this, of course, because of it being so dark, we, cho uh, we chose to go with the kills. And... Um, we're going to go with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a quick little video fast forwarding of me applying the kills around the whole room. And then um, we'll come back and show you the results of what it looks like with the kills. Then show the results of what it looks like with one coat after the kills. And then the second coat with the trim and final touch. So thank you guys for tuning in with us. I'm going to help you out with changing your darker colors to light in case you got a question on that. Don't forget to hit that bell, subscribe, and uh, man, thank you for coming and painting with Tony Picasso with the interior home decor and design. Love you guys. Watch the video. Basically putting down um, some type of coverage 
so you can get on a majority of the darker tone of the color. After that, it dries and shows you where a lot of the holes are and you'll get some putty or some one stop or hole filler, whatever you use to patch the nail holes. And then you will start applying those sections where you see those holes with a spatula just to make the wall look a little smooth when you apply the color. Now remember we're going from light to dark. So a lot of times with light colors, you will see the holes from previous nails and things like that. What I wanna make sure is that when somebody walks in this room, that it looks like uh, it's almost a new wall, you know, like nobody has ever used it. So you kind of want to be mindful of those things. Um, a good tip also with the spatula and putting a putty in. Sometimes I start with the tips, the corners, and uh, get it right on the angle there. You see how I got it right there? And then let me see if I can find another hole. Okay, boom, got one. Put it right there on the angle again. Flip it down. Okay. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of this room doing the holes and stuff like that. Gotta take down one of the rods. Uh, and then after that, man, we're gonna show you guys how we apply that first coat and what that looks like uh, from light to dark with that kills. Then we'll go in with final touches and then boom, show you the end of the room. Stay tuned and thank you for tuning in with painting with Tony Picasso. Yeah.